Hey YouTube, Friedrich here with another look at some Blender Grease Pencil tool. This time the compositing tool. I started using this in the later stages of my 2D animation to composite all the different elements and also enhance the look of the lines. And I'd love to share some of the experiments and things that I've found out so far. Let's have a look. Here we are in our shot and this is the little walk cycle I've been doing and it's all done frame by frame. Now if you zoom in the lines are very digital and stiff and I've been experimenting with some tools to kind of make them a bit nicer. If you go here in the compositing tool if that isn't there just press on the plus sign and then you can select and animation compositing that would show up here and probably it won't show up like this so let's open a new file to show you how it would probably look so if you go on compositing it will probably look like this then you need to activate use notes and then you have these things and you should add what is called a viewer therefore you press shift a here but i usually go via the search tool add viewer and you can connect that one here to the rendered layers this will view on what is rendered but because you didn't render anything it doesn't show anything so press f12 to render and of course it's a white image um, but that will show up now in the background Actually, let's draw something on here. Okay, now that we have a drawing, we go back to our compositing and press F12 again. And now we have our rendering or yeah, the render in the back. Now from whatever we do here in the notes, it will it will show this automatically how it will come up rendered in this viewer because of the viewing node. And you can also change what you see because now we're quite zoomed in by zooming out here or pressing it to fit whatever size of the canvas you have or with this one to move and then these you can make them smaller and bigger with control alt go zoom and alt shift you can put it from left to right so so far for the compositing tool i want to show you what i did with the other drawing and apply this later on to this one as well so here we are back in our shot and we're going back to compositing pressing f12 again so it renders a view and now i have all these things applied already um but maybe let's build them up uh, bit by bit so you can see what i did yeah first only maybe connect the viewer and the uh, and the rendered image so first of all the lens distortion and you add that by pressing shift a looking for lens distortion like these so what that does is if you're using a very wide angle lens on something it can have like distortion around so let's say normally the grid would be straight but then around the curves it would start bending so this is to to heal that sort of problem and then this thing here put this off you see how the how the line suddenly split into RGB you know you take take with a grain of salt but this can add some nice of distortion to the lines and we put it on fit because we don't want these corners to to show weirdly as well in our image so it's on fit and then what jitter does it also gives us this nice grain on top but be careful because it also shows here the round there's something the oval sort of like shape 
where on in the middle it's thicker the grain on the outside it's thinner don't exactly know how to solve that but just if you don't use it too thickly then this isn't too big of a problem the next thing i added in the middle is this glare so let's put that here and what that does is everywhere where there's white it puts on like a bloom effect or on anything that's like very yeah not white necessarily but needs to be bright and it makes that even whiter so it eats into the lines as you can see here and does something fun to it which yeah is sort of a nice effect i guess as well and what i did last is you see i have two two rendered layers here i use this twice and one of them i blur and then i mix them with multiply so this no tree sort of i pushed some of the lines here to be a bit darker and stuff and then i blurred them then i put them together here in the let's see it, how that looks like this is the normal render and then i added like a blurred image on top with multiply which gives us the lines that are a little bit have a blur stuff behind it and then i went and did all put the glare between that as well and the lens distortion like that and then i mixed another rgb curve in between where i can push some of the lines because i feel like it's a bit too bright sometimes now that i want to see a bit more so connect this here to image so that's all that this rgb curve does makes the lines a bit darker in places and rendered it looks like this in the end I tested the, the same setting on another image that has lots more fills and then I want to show you that as well. So we go here, this is the other one I did. So <clears throat> it's a bit more complicated than the other one and I have different elements on different layers here in the, in the scene collection. As you can see there's my references and then I have different elements that I drew and yeah and in my compositing i bring them all together so this is a lot more complex because i bring in also other elements that i prepared in another program so for example this is not a rendered uh, a part that is rendered in the rendering but a gradient that i took from photoshop and then this one is a is a rendered image actually and actually a sequence not only one image and here as well and this i think is just the line of the background and then i have some background part parts as well here and i all combine them little by little with blurs and put them together so in the end see how this node tree comes together and there's the mid ground element of the guy jumping over the car and then I do some color balancing on different parts of it um, and then I blur things again and add them together and here I do the glare as well and I want to show you this on the on this image because it is more apparent now what glare does here so if I just disconnect this and connect these then you see how the Then you see how the white or the, the blue highlights on the shoulder and everywhere they're very strong and the edge is very hard and what glare does now is sort of like taking all the highlights and giving them sort of like a bloom effect like a really strong light source would do as well you see how 
there is like it actually feels like light on it <clears throat> and you can change the how it blooms or glares sort of the white and with these sort of settings here just experiment with them yeah and then here i pushed the image to be a bit brighter or darker i also will upload both of these files to my gumroad and you can check them out and um, get the whole node tree and experiment with these yourself if this was helpful for you please consider subscribing and liking my video down below it helps me and this channel out a lot Yeah, here you have it. As I said, I will put both of the files on my Gumroad so you can download them there for free and check out for yourself what you can take out of it. I really enjoyed uh, experimenting with these and finding out some ways of compositing nice line work in Blender. If you have suggestions or ideas as well about it, please feel free to put them in the comments below. That's it for me, have fun and see you next time. Bye bye. If you like this video, you might also like more of my other videos about quick tips and tools all around 2D design. So check them out here and see you around next time. Bye bye.